bridge is running. I better go catch it. As you can tell, it's a nice chilly day. I have this like sweater that's also basically a blanket. <laughs> Hello, my pottery posse. How are you today? I hope you're doing great because every day is a great day to play with some clay, except today. Because today I'm here with my tea. No, it's not coffee, it's tea. Oh my gosh, that is the perfect temperature. Okay. So I have my tea and I have my laptop. Why, you may ask? Because I'm finally going to be doing a react video <laughs> so that you can watch me watching videos. <laughs> and uh, let's get into it. Okay. So first we have this, who is this? Art Insider. It's only a minute and 12 seconds long. So let's see what's in store with this one. It popped up onto my feed like forever ago. I think I watched like five seconds of it and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do a reaction video on this. And then it never happened. So here we are. <laughs> Okay, that's how I feel. Okay, hang on. That girl, here we are. This, this face, that's how I feel. <laughs> Okay, so basically he teaches classes. Am I right? Hang on, let's reread this. When he throws a wet piece for a class, he has to leave it behind. So he finds creative ways to destroy them. <laughs> I mean, I guess it, it makes sense. If it's gonna fall apart anyways, or just be left behind and nothing done with it, you may as well just painfully destroy them. <laughs> okay, I don't know about you guys, um, if you're a potter out there, please comment below and let me know what you do because personally, I try my very best to save every piece. Why? I don't know. It's something in me that has to do with like time management. I'm kind of like OCD about time management. So <laughs> I'll like clop some clay onto the side, some like slip onto the side and then like repair a piece on the wheel and then finish throwing it and it'll just go into the pile that shh, goes to my family. Sorry guys, <laughs> but it's not bad. I mean, they're still good pieces. Speaking of which, I saw this next video that is by Dante over at Earth Nation Ceramics and it blows my mind because I'm such a fan. I've been watching for a long time. However, I always want to say Earth Clay Nation. That's not how it goes. Earth Nation Ceramics, <laughs> Emily. <laughs> so anyways, um, he has something that he likes to call Link Day and it's for all his pieces that are not up to par with something that he would sell and he, destroys all his felled pottery. So let's watch that and have a little bit more feeling of pain deep inside of me. <laughs> this one is 11 minutes and 49 seconds long. So I need, I need some tea. Okay, let's do it. That's a thin booty. The music change caught me by surprise, but I do love his intros. They're pretty good. Dirty Potters. Hey. We have this thing called Purge Day. Purge Day is essentially the day that we get all of our pots that we either can't break or sell at a second sale or something like that, and we just literally break them. But not a lot of them record it because it's essentially us just showing our failures on screen. Uh, again, I don't know about you guys, but um, I save everything that I can. And then even when it's failed, I like to 
use that piece to experiment on. And then if it turned out with a really nice glaze, then I might give it away to a family member or a friend. Um, something that's a perfectly good piece of pottery <laughs> instead of destroying it. Unpopular opinion. <laughs> I'm sorry. Friend of the channel, Lindsay M. Dillon, also has to do one of these, so you are technically getting two purge days. Two for the price of one. How wonderful. We call them link days. Yeah. We call them link days because this character right here has a habit of, like, destroying pottery because they have money in them. So I kind of understand. I mean, if you put money inside of a vessel, like, people are going to break the vessel because money is the thing you need to leave. You, you, you know what I mean? A group of nerds who were like, there was nothing wrong with that pot. <laughs> So basically what I just explained, <laughs> I'm the nerd. <laughs> I would give it away to my friends and family for free. <laughs> and if you haven't gotten a piece of pottery from me, I'm very sorry. Sorry. Big old pile today. Oh, that is a lot. Oh yeah, reps for Jesus. Ah, oh, swoly matrimony. Oh. <laughs> what? Quality. Humor. Okay, sorry. Puns, dad jokes, all the things. What are you, what are you doing? What did that say? Rank, Clay Lord. <laughs> Putting stuff on face. Is he saying makeup? Okay, I have to get a Kleenex. It's ridiculous. What? I'm back and my nose is all red now. You're welcome. But I'm doing a sale called The Ghosts of Ceramics Past. Because they're dead. Because they're dead. Stop it. That's good. 30 minutes of us. I don't know if you heard that. Ghosts of Ceramics Past. That's perfect. Are you trying to Mario me right now? <laughs> this is and we'll explain a little bit of what's going on. Werewolves don't make sense. And even during hot Why? <laughs> they would be a werewolf 100% of the time. Because of the thing that turns you into a werewolf is moonlight. What do you think sunlight is? It's reflected moonlight. I, or, no, no, no. You would be a no, no, no. 100 But it's of the true. Time. No. Mineral on the moon that is reflective enough and radiates werewolf transformation juice. Yes. I made this like weird fight circle club, fight club thing of clay. <laughs> Clearly we need a virgin sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so a lot of my stuff are just like testers. He got in the circle. Things that I wanted to see if they would work and they didn't turn out sellable. Okay, so Dante does that. Dante will test on like failed bisque pieces. Basically things where there was like a full-blown crack or, uh, you know, like this one was kind of a fun one. I literally wrote, whoops. <laughs> that's a huge crack in there. Yeah, that was a that's big a old black. First one. It's a plumber's crack. <laughs> For this cup is garbage. <gasps> so this is a piece that uh, originally I did not like. I wasn't expecting him to go into it that fast. <laughs> I've never done this before. You, you've never done that? Have y'all ever done this before? Oh my, Beckham does it all the time. If you're a potter and you've done this before, a purge or a link day or Hulk smash day, then you let me know because this is painful. Oh. <laughs> I love looking at things that are broken because you can you can see like, okay, how well did I trim this? This was a carved piece that I just straight up don't like. I have done this technically once before. It was a cold and rainy November night when I found her. That's right, the dame was mine, and she slipped right through my fingers. Her cold, shattered hand oh, lay limp in my fingers. I had just gotten a grinding pad. I had never had a grinding pad before, and so I was testing out on one of my failed pieces, grinding like what kind of grip that I needed to have and how much water I needed. And I found that because it flew off and broke. Things took a turn for the worse when she lost control again. Pieces flying everywhere. If you haven't seen the film noir or clay, I called it clay noir. Go check out my channel, go watch that because you will see the first and only time that I have smashed a piece of my pottery. A bunch of these that I just straight up 
do not want. Trying to oh! the bowls again. Oh! Okay, riddle me this. Uh, on the middle, on the inside of this bowl, it looks like straight up a wisp. Have any of y'all seen Brave? A wisp if you have the chance to change your fate. Whatcha? That Brave? It looks like a wisp. I would keep it literally just for that. A couple times and there was still some pinholing that showed up <gasps> at the bottom, so oh. it goes. So oh, sad. Right there. Yeah. Wow, the, the glaze itself is a layer of like one eighth of the clay body. Yeah, yeah, yeah That's exactly. really thick. Dang. Yeah, yeah. That was from me trying to solve the pinholing issues that I was getting and just building up layers. Just over glaze it and hope for the best. <laughs> it's, it'll fill in the hole, right? Some, if I just add more glaze. Sometimes it work like that, honestly. Sometimes. Fail. Oh my gosh, that's funny. It's, like it's a failed fail. <laughs> Lindsay just pulled this one out the pile and gave it to me and I was like, what's, what's wrong with this one? This one looks really nice. So this one's being saved. So you can stop clutching your pearls now. So cool though. Okay. Okay. Dude, ah. Nice. You destroyed it. Oh my gosh. Oh, hey, that's look, at cute. The, look at the little guy. That's a lot. That's a lot. Holy crap. I have like okay, five well, pieces. Although I have thrown away like 10. Okay, so enough with wonderful Dante's Destroy Day. So I have now been filming for 45 minutes. I guess that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that you come back for more. If you'd like to see a regular pottery tutorial or pottery video, you can click up here and hopefully there's gonna be a video. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to uh, subscribe. And yeah, I guess that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, stay creative, my friends.